What's up guys, welcome to my 8th JavaScript tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be actually getting into the fun stuff of JavaScript. We're going to be using JavaScript to make a decision for us. A very basic decision, but a decision nonetheless. So the first thing we need before we even start is a couple of these old variables. So you can make yours anything you want. If you want to follow along with me, you can copy me. I'm going to set my number 1 equal to 20 and number 2 equal to 30. Now, the first type of decision we can have JavaScript make is something called the if statement. And this tells JavaScript that we only want it to execute a block of code if one of our conditions is true. If it isn't true, then don't even do the code at all. So the syntax for if is, you guessed it, if. Now, after that you have parameters. Make sure you don't put a semicolon at the end because it's, I know it's different than everything you learned before, but it's good practice. And in your parameters, test whatever condition that you want to test. And remember, if this condition is true, then it's going to execute the code we type after it. So I'm going to say if num1, which is 20, is less than num2, which is 30, then in right here, use your curly braces. Now whatever we type in our curly braces is going to be the code that we execute if it's true. So we say if the number 1, which is 20, is less than the number 2, which is 30, then we want you to output on the screen. Um, we'll just have it output. Good job, Haas. So now here's what's going on. We have two variables. Right here we have our condition. And this says if this condition is true then we want you to go ahead and do this if it's false then don't do anything so let's save this and take a look at what it looks like as you can see it said good job Haas and why is this because the number one twenty is less than the number two thirty well, let's what if we had that switch around and what if we had if number 2 is less than the number 1? If 30 is less than 20, then what do you think it's going to do? Well, it can't do this because this only happens if it's true. So let's save it and take a look at what it looks like. As you can see, I keep refreshing this page and nothing happens. So this is a way where you can only execute a block of code of a certain condition is right. For instance, you could have someone type in a name, like um, you can have a prompt command and it'll have it equal to um, Bobby. And then you can have if prompt equals Bobby, then alert hi Bobby. And if not, then just move on to the rest of the screen. So this is a very basic way of how we can use JavaScript to make a very basic decision and in the next tutorial I'm going to be talking even more about it but it doesn't get really that hard it just gets easier and easier we have and we can make it make more than one decision right now we're just making one and the next tutorial we're going to give it more choices but that's for another time so keep on watching and keep on rating my videos Thanks. Bye.